Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use password masking to show only dots in a password input. And then I'm going to show you how to improve the dots, make this funky pink outline, and show and hide the password with this eye icon. So, let's get into it. I am here in my HTML, and you'll see I have a form with three divs each containing a label and an input. And for clarity, I've called them passwords one, two, and three. Currently, when I type something in the input, it is visible, which is not what we want. We want to mask it with those all important dots. And to do that is very simple. We just go into the input and we add type equals password. You'll now see when I type something, only the dots appear. Great news. However, these are not the best dots you can have, no. You can improve them. And to do that, we will use the classes I have declared on the inputs password two and password three. So hop over to the CSS and in password two, I'm going to declare the font family of Verdana. And you can see it auto fills these backup fonts. So you now see that my dots are nice and big. And to improve the look of it even more, we can add letter spacing and I'll go for 0.1 ch. And just to toggle that on and off, you can see how much nicer it looks with a bit of space in between. Now, the third input actually has the same font family and letter spacing, so I can put that in now. But what I'm also going to do is increase the font size to 24 pixels and change the color. So color, hot pink. And now I have these lovely pink dots. But I don't think that the outline shows up very well on my dark pink background. What you can do is in the focus state, you can declare outline three pixels, solid hot pink. And now when I click into it, you'll see how this nice pink outline that goes with the dots and shows up well. However, because the inputs have a border radius of five pixels, there is a small gap in the corner between the input and the outline. And there isn't a reliable way of adding a border radius to the outline. But what I can do instead is use a box shadow. Box shadow, not, 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 three pixels, hot pink. Let's give that a go. So that's covered up the gaps in the corners nicely. And now to give it a nice rounded effect on the outside, we just remove this and add outline zero and now everything is nice and rounded just like the input now we're going to add the icon to toggle the password visibility on and off and i have used google material icons for this if you would like some more guidance on how to use these i have a video i will link it in a card above so i've just searched for i and i used visibility and visibility off and i have copied the style sheet into my html first so just remember to do that. If you don't, it ain't gonna render. So I will now copy the span with the visibility icon. And over in my HTML, in each div, I'm going to add an i tag. And then in there, I'm going to copy the visibility icon span. So you will now see that my i icon has appeared. And if you're wondering, the reason it's white is because I have color white declared on my body. But we're going to fix that in a minute. And to do that, we do I color is going to be hot pink. And then to move it into the input, I will do margin left minus 45 pixels. And now the icons are in the right place. Great news. And finally, I'm going to add cursor pointer. So the user knows they can interact with it. Lovely. But currently the icon doesn't do anything because we haven't wired it up. And to do that, I'm going to kick off by giving my icon an ID of visibility btn. And then over in my JS, I do const visibility btn equals document.getElementById and you've guessed it, visibility btn. And then just to check that that is picking up the right element, we do console.log visibility btn. Woohoo! That is identifying the i tag as we wanted. So now what we can do is add an event listener to visibility btn and on the click we're going to run a function called 
toggle visibility. So that's beeping at me because we have not yet declared the function, but we're going to do that now. Function toggle visibility. And what that will do is first off, grab the input, which I can do because it has an ID of password three. So that's very similar to this. So I'll just copy it and I'll call this variable password and the ID password three. And then we use a conditional to toggle the password visibility. And that looks like this. If password input dot type, that is the type here, which we have declared as password in the HTML. If that is password, what we want to do is change it to text. So we do password dot type equals text. Otherwise change it to password. Let's give that a go. And that has not worked because it should be password input also here. Woohoo! We can now toggle our password visibility on and off. Great news. However, it would also be nice if we could switch out this eye icon for the visibility off one. Well, guess what? We can. To do that, I'm going to head into the span that I copied over from Google Material Icons. I'm going to give that an ID of icon. And we're going to grab this just like we grabbed the password input. We're going to call that variable icon and it's grabbing the icon ID. Now the way Google Material Icons work is that the style sheet reads the inner text of the span and then renders the appropriate icon. So if I change this to visibility off, you'll see it now renders the crossed out eye icon. So all I need to do in my JS is change the inner text of the span. And to do that, we do icon dot inner text equals visibility off. Save that. We can now switch out to the crossed out icon. However, we want to switch it back to the non crossed out eye. And to do that, we just simply add icon dot inner text visibility in the else statement. Let's give that a go. Great news. We are now toggling our password visibility on and off and switching out our icon at the same time. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.